Is your sweet tooth causing your acne? Today, I'm gonna to be sharing my final word on insulin resistance and acne. Plus, I'll be sharing my number one tool for getting you clear on your root triggers, okay? Hi there, I'm Jill Therese, and I struggled with terrible acne for over 15 years, believe it or not, and I was finally able to clear my acne naturally, and I've made it my life's work to help you do the same thing via my program, The Clear Code. And every week I share everything I know about how to get you clear and glowing skin naturally. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video. So how does insulin resistance impact your acne? First things first, I don't want to be super sciencey because that's boring AF, but I want to give you the information that I never had about my skin. So let's talk a little bit about what insulin is. Insulin is a hormone in your body that regulates blood glucose levels. So basically, when you eat something sugary, your blood sugar goes up. Glucose levels in your system rise. Blood sugar equals glucose, okay? And your body doesn't want your blood sugar levels to go too high, so it releases insulin to lower, to stabilize your blood sugar levels, shall we say. So what is insulin resistance? Insulin resistance is when cells in your muscles, fat, and liver don't respond well to insulin and can't use glucose from your body for your energy. So to make up for it, your pancreas releases more insulin, more insulin, and over time, your blood sugar levels just go up and up. Now, before we go any further, I have something I have to tell you, and that is the four, rather, I have four things I need to tell you, and they are the four conditions needed for a breakout, okay? Memorize these, especially number one. All right, the first step needed for a breakout to occur is that you have too many skin cells at your pore, okay? Step number two is that you have too much oil and or sebum at your pore. Step number three is that your skin cells aren't sloughing off the top layer of skin the way they're supposed to, the way normal skin cells do. And then step number four is when the bacteria, P. acnes, gets into this overclogged, over oily pore infects it, and that is what a breakout is, okay? Remember step number one, be having too many skin cells at your pore step, okay? Here's how insulin resistance directly impacts your acne. So let's go over, for fun, what happens when you eat something super sugary like a big piece of chocolate cake. So as this semi-digested piece of cake enters your tongue, it's converted into, into glucose. Glucose is one of your most basic energy sources. It's super important. And like we talked about before, this influx of glucose in your body triggers your pancreas to begin releasing insulin into your bloodstream. Fine, all go to normal. Insulin causes cells in your liver, muscle, fat, and tissue to take up and or use the glucose in your blood and to convert it to glycogen to be stored later. Now, as you can tell, this process is super normal. It's like the sign of a body doing its job, right? However, it's the abuse of this process that gets us into a little trouble. Because over time, especially if you're consuming kind of a typical American diet, for example, you're going to have a lot more sugar in your body than you're necessarily even aware of. Eating a ton of sugar over time can lead to chronically elevated levels of insulin. And the more insulin you have in the body, the more of this other hormone is created and the more you have of it in your body as well. And it's called IGF-1, insulin growth factor one. So how does IGF-1 impact insulin, impact your blood sugar, impact acne? Insulin and IGF-1 are responsible for increased follicular cell growth. I'm gonna to link to the study about that beyond, below. So what is IGF-1? IGF-1 is a growth hormone with a lot of the same properties that insulin has. It's also a powerful mitogen for all of your body's tissues. So what's a mitogen? A mitogen is a chemical substance that ultimately triggers mitosis or the division of cells. Ding, ding, ding. It causes cell growth. Remember back to step number one where we talked about having too many skin cells at your pore was like step number one for a breakout? IGF-1 can stimulate skin cell growth, which for someone struggling with acne is no bueno. And so then we kind of go full circle, right? We come back to our initial question of why are there so many skin cells growing? And the answer could be too much sugar. The more sugar you eat, the more insulin your body releases, the more of the hormone IGF-1 exists. 
The more IGF-1 you have, the more skin cells you have at your core, the more of a perfect storm you have for a breakout to occur. Before I totally knock sugar on its butt, I want to give you a disclaimer. Sugar is our body's fuel. Without it, we would die. Sugar is not bad. Sugar, meaning glucose, glucose and sugar, I'm using them as like the same thing in this sentence. I don't recommend that you like never eat sugar again or that sugar is the devil. I love myself a good chocolate chip cookie, you know what I'm saying? But excess levels that we often consume in our typical American diet are bad for our skin and our body. Let's take a pop quiz because, because pop quizzes are fun. I want you to tell me, just think in your head, I'm gonna show you a slide, Tell me how many of these items have significant amount of sugar in them from this kind of, this is kind of like a standard American diet. Tell me below. Take a look, give it a pause, and then let me know. We have a bagel with cream cheese, orange juice, coffee, pop tart mid morning, hamburger, french fries, ketchup, chocolate chip cookie, pepperoni pizza, or pasta. How many of those have sugar in them? All of them. All of them, except for the hamburger and the cheese. But the bun, the ketchup. Now, let's say you followed this diet for days, weeks, months, years on end. How do you think that would impact your skin over the long term? The longer you eat a diet full of kind of significant amounts of artificial sugar, the more insulin your body is naturally going to have kind of running around. And then the more of the other hormone, IGF-1, your body's naturally gonna have running around. And then as a result, you're going to have most likely excess skin cells at your pore, which lead directly to a breakout. So do you kind of see how it all links and how insulin resistance, which is kind of an excess amount of insulin in your body because you're just consuming too much sugar, can contribute to acne? So you're like, all right, Jill, that's scary. What do I do? So number one, don't be scared. Sugar is not the devil. Number two, substitute, this is my favorite action step, substitute all of like your cookies, your cakes, anytime you want like something really sweet and or candy, grab a really sweet fruit like pineapple, mango, orange, a banana, because that'll satiate you. It comes with a ton of vitamins and antioxidants and it doesn't have a quarter of the amount of sugar. Step number two is to not eat sugar on an empty stomach. I recommend this to all of my clients, it's really important. If you have like a cookie on an empty stomach, or three cookies, let's say, on an empty stomach, you are just setting yourself up for blood sugar spikes throughout the day, which increases the amount of insulin, which is just no bueno. So anytime you're having, if you have a sweet treat, try to have it with something like an almond or um, half an avocado, or you know, more than one almond, like five to 10, or half an avocado so that you don't have such a big blood sugar spike. Step number three is to have a healthy fat with every meal. So something like half an avocado, olive oil, like an extra a tablespoon of olive oil, coconut chips, have a healthy fat with your meals so that you feel more satiated. And as a result, you're not gonna be starving in two hours after you eat. If that's you, you're most likely struggling with some blood sugar stuff and you wanna just increase your amount of healthy fats. Try adding a supplement like magnesium. I love magnesium. Again, I'm not a doctor, I always talk to a doctor, but magnesium is involved in over 350 enzymatic reactions and magnesium supplementation has also been shown to improve an insulin sensitivity, which is why magnesium, adequate magnesium intake may, le may lead to lower your risk of diabetes, colon, and rectal cancers. So, now that you have a definitive answer on the link between insulin resistance and your acne, how about getting a little bit more clear on why you're breaking out in the first place? I've created a 30 second, 10 question acne personality quiz to get you really clear on why you're breaking out in the first place. You'll download three specific and customized acne clearing steps based on your unique acne type, as well as three customized recipes. So head to the link below and download that today. Also, if you want to join a safe, private, and empathetic community of people struggling with their acne just like you, we have a private Facebook group where you can meet other people struggling with their skin stuff as well. So find the link below to that as well. If you like this video, please let me know by liking it, hitting the bell to be notified when I post a new one, and commenting below with, yes, can't wait to start today, because I would love to support you on your journey, and I know some of these action steps can really transform your skin. And also, share it with anyone if you know someone needs some help with their acne, okay? Thanks so much for being here, and I'll see you next week.